right where you are. Don't move. Stay there now. Steady. Now, sit up! Get up! Sit up, you! Up, you fool! Up! Sit up, I said. Sit up! I'm sorry. Please, let me help you. Oh, yeah. Buzz! Oh, Buzz! What's the matter? Buzz! Take it easy. What's the matter? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Take it away. I'm not here! Wait a minute. Take it easy. Stanley. This is a harmless little kitten. Buzz. I'm scared of that. What are you... Look at the wild look in his face. Oh. I can't understand why you have this terrible fear of animals in you. What is it? When I was a little baby, I was scared by my piggy bank. Oh, that's nonsense. You, you want to hear something worse? What? I was 15 years old before I ate my first animal cracker. <laughs> Come on, the store's about to open up. Fix up your collars. Get to work. Go on, go on. And how? Yes, sir. That's the truth. How do you do? May I help you? Do you happen to have a copy of Doc Safari by Cuddleford? I'll find out. Hey, Bob. How do you do, gentlemen? We like to speak to salesman, pal. Well, uh, I'm the salesman, Stanley Livington. I'm the clerk in charge of all Jungle Books. And at 11 o'clock, giving a lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a book by the name of Dark uh, Safari by Cuddleford. Dark Safari by Cuddleford? We did have it. Well, we got rid of it some time ago. I want to tell you, gentlemen, I read that book. I had nightmares for nine months. How well do you remember that book? Why? You remember a map in it? A map in that book? Of course I remember it. Could you draw it? Could I draw it? For a thousand dollars? Draw that map and that book for a thousand dollars? Ha! For a thousand dollars, I could draw that map in oil. Okay, then meet us in the alley tonight at seven thirty, and we'll take you to somebody who'll give you a thousand dollars the minute you lay down the pencil. Is it a deal? Shake. <laughs> okay, pal. See you in the alley tonight at seven thirty, huh? and be there, chum. Get me. Thousand dollars to draw that map. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that book is out of print. In fact, we sold the last one some time ago. Oh, dear, I was afraid of that. I've been to every bookstore in the city. There's a map in that book that I'd give $2,500 for. Uh, will you give me that again, please? I said there was a map in that book that I'd give $2,500 for. $2,500? Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. What are you doing? Hey, Buzz, this you'll never believe. There were two guys in here. Look, I understand. Look, Stanley, how well do you remember that book you read about, uh, Doc Safari? That's what I'm trying to tell you. There was two guys in now here. Look, uh, you remember there was a map in it? You too. Uh, now, go away, go away, go away. What are you doing there? I'm drawing that map now. No, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Oh, you can't. Buzz, don't tear that up. I've got a chance to make Wait, it. Wait, quiet. Come on, follow me. Oh, oh, hey, look, look, look. Take it easy, take it easy. Come on. Madam, you are the luckiest person in New York this morning. Allow me to introduce Stanley Livington one of the world's greatest wild game hunters. Oh, well, how exciting. Oh. Wild game hunters are my weakness. This is really a thrill, Mr. Livington. So nice meeting you, too, but I'm really not... Uh, it might interest you to know that uh, when Mr. Cuddleford wrote Doc Safari, Mr. Livington was right there. Oh! Wonderful! Then you must be very familiar with the map that is in that book. The map? Yes. Oh, sure. That's one map I could draw in a dark room even without a pencil. You see, your troubles were all over. Uh, I could make arrangements to bring him over to your home this evening. Oh, no. marvelous. No. I think it's a wonderful idea. No. My name is Emerson, Diana Emerson. How do you do, Miss Emerson? But no, I got a date in the alley. She'll have to wait. She'll have to wait. Oh. Here's my address. Uh, see you tonight, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's the kind of girl I dream about. But you should see the ones I get. <laughs> I tell you, boss, the guy said he knew the map backwards. So we make a date to meet him, bring him in, and have him draw it. 
Yeah, and the little muslin never shows up after us offering him a grand. Well, you can relax. I found somebody myself this morning. You did, boss? Where? In Clopper's department store. That's where we found our guy. Wait a minute. Was he a silly-looking little fat guy? That's him. Why, that two-timer. You offer him a thousand and he holds out for a higher price. The minute he puts his foot through the door, I'll break every bone in his head. You'll do no such thing. When he leaves, you boys can meet him outside and get my money back. We get you, boss. Now go out the side entrance. I'm closing a deal with the man who's going to lead the safari. Won't you come in, Mr. Beattie? This is the place. Now, don't forget, she thinks you're a big game hunter. Buzz, why do you keep getting me in the middle? I wish you hadn't. Why are you ingrate? Here, I'm giving you a chance to make me $2,500. Is that the way you want to repay me for all the things I could have done for you? Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Stanley, will you come on? I'm shutting off the water. Well, turn it off and come on. I stopped it. Good. Come on up here. May I see you a minute, please? Now, now what's the matter? <laughs> My finger's stuck. Well, leave it there and come on. Okay. What's the matter? Well, let me see this. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one! That one! Oh, Don't boil that one. Harry, did you answer the door? No. Do I have to? Answer the door. Oh, all right. Do everything around here. Get this. The office is too tight. I gotta be a cook and a butler. One of these days, I'll just... Well, that's all. I'll just do it. Yes? Uh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington to see Miss Emerson. Well, come in. Who is knocking? Well, come in! Miss Emerson is busy for the moment. Will you step in the living room, please? Pats. Uh, Thank you. on outside. Yeah, I can't get it off. Help me get it off. Well, you get your hand. Well, yeah. not so hard. You get your hand on. I'll pull it off. Get your hand out of the way now. Get your hand out of the way. I get it off. Get your hand out of the way. I get it off. Naturally, I haven't publicized the expedition because I could easily become the victim of unscrupulous people. If that map's one of the few in existence, the owner would practically have you in the palm of his hand. This man coming tonight is the gullible type, but fairly intelligent. If he can remember the map accurately, we'll proceed at once. That'll be fine with me, Miss Emerson. And now regarding your fee. Suppose we say 5,000 in advance and 15,000 on completion. That's very liberal. On the contrary, money is no object, as long as I get what I'm after. Come on, will you? 